Hello world, and welcome back to Minecraft Memoir. Uh, in the last episode, we did a bunch of mining. Uh, got a decent amount of iron and coal here, although I'm not done yet. Uh, I know we said we'd be doing above ground stuff, but we're still down here. Uh, I've just got like three things I kind of want to mention before we get the video started. Uh, we won't be doing any mining today. Um, I'm going to mine off camera. Uh, and I'll come back, show you what I got, and then we'll do some building. Uh, but I want to mention, so one, uh, I found this really cool hole that leads down to where we were mining. Uh, it's right underneath, you see that's the bridge to the windmill. It goes all the way down here, and then it keeps going. Uh, so maybe we'll do something cool here. Uh, secondly, so as I was editing the last video, I noticed that we were getting like a ton of... Uh, dropped frames. It was very choppy. I spent... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. You stay put. Okay. Uh, oh, my gosh. I did not realize. We were on, like, the edge. So, uh, yeah. It, it was really bad frames. Um... I don't know if you could notice, uh, at some point I thought I was like psyching myself out and it was just because like the disparity between like, you know, I'm seeing 500 FPS, my monitor refreshes pretty quick. Uh, so I thought it was the video, but no, it, there's definite like kind of micro stuttering. Uh, and I don't know why that was. Unfortunately, I spent about six hours, uh, going looking at forums on OBS or the OBS forums like trying to figure out uh, what it could be because I use OBS for recording and I believe it was something related to uh, my dual monitor setup and how one of them is 144 hertz and the other is 60 uh, but I couldn't get it to work so we switched to Streamlabs OBS and uh, the problem resolved. So I really wish I had just done that last night, because I spent so long. I, I've tested every possible, uh, like, refresh rate for my monitor, uh, frames for, like, limiting the frame rate uh, in-game or with other programs and changing the recording rate. It's a whole thing. So hopefully this looks good now. Uh, and lastly, <laughs> while editing the last video, I noticed I said the words, like, poke around and be right back a zillion times. So <laughs> I'm going to try to uh, try to make some more interesting dialogue because that gets boring really quick. Um, so apologize for that. But hopefully today's video is better. Uh, please let me know if you notice improvement in the quality. I think this is good. Okay, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I have to go back home now to get some food because uh, I'm really low. I died, like, two or three times in the process of, like, figuring out what was wrong with my frames. Um, just because I have to, like, record a clip, watch it back, okay, no, still stuttery, change something, and keep doing that. I did that for hours. So, um, didn't really make any in-game progress during that time, so you didn't miss much. But, uh, yeah. So, with that out of the way... Um, I'm going to do some mining here. We've still got plenty of cave, plenty of ore left. Uh, if I find anything neat, I'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll uh, meet up probably at the uh, lower section of the... Ooh, okay, one heart. No, lower section of the house. We're going to replace the walls, I think. Oh, man. All right. So I watched that last clip back. That is some crisp video. Oh man, I am excited. I'm excited. Uh, this might be the highest quality, well, definitely will be the highest quality video I've recorded so far, um, which is really good. I'm so glad I made that switch. Uh, not super glad I didn't make it sooner, but you know, what can you do? Uh, so we didn't really mine a whole lot off camera. Um, pretty much just smelted the stuff that we had on us. I might've gotten like 10 more pieces of ore. So we got about two stacks of iron here, which is pretty good. I'll probably be mining off camera, uh, 
passively you know i won't mine a ton and obviously i'll include anything interesting uh but you know it's not all that interesting uh, in these early versions so you know once we get down to like lava and diamond level maybe i'll record some more uh otherwise just that regular spelunking i don't think i'll include that um it's really handy being able to edit these videos more uh i feel like i'm able to get a lot more content in each video like I can do a long clip of talking and explaining things to you and then uh, a long period of like doing stuff off camera. And then I can kind of recap that and do more stuff. So we also got a ton of coal, which is really good. I always find myself like not mining it and then I run out later on. Uh, so I'm trying to get as much now as I can. And it looks like we have enough wool to build the windmill now. So we'll have to look into building that soon. I don't think we're going to do that today. Um, of course, it's nighttime now. That, uh, I'm actually ready. But I was thinking, whoa, okay, where are you at? Dang, he sniped me. Oh, there he is. Nice. And an egg. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, of course, now I've got all my items and I'm ready now it's nighttime. So, uh, so yeah, I was thinking, uh, yeah, we'll probably, I'll wait till it's daytime uh, and then we'll start working on the wall down there. Man, I don't care what anybody says about these old versions. I love watching the sunrise in game. I don't love not being able to play, really, but, uh, you know. Allows me to like sit back, reflect on what I did, and make some plans. So I was looking at uh, an alpha Minecraft block palette. Okay, I still hear him. Uh, so I was looking at a block palette, um, to try to see what we can use here, and uh, I believe I already said this, but practically nothing is the answer. Um, <laughs> for houses, I was thinking we might use some colored wool, but uh, the only wool in the game so far is white wool, and the uh, other colors only get added, or I think we can only really obtain them in beta 1.2, or maybe even 1.3. So, um, We'll probably be doing, I think, a bunch of uh, smooth stone slabs and cobble for the roof. Uh, that should look pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to get the walls switched out. Might play around with some roof designs. Uh, we'll see what I come up with. Uh, seeing that this is like a really large wall here... My idea is that I'll kind of break these up into like smaller, smaller units. Uh, that's the, oh, okay. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, I'll try breaking these up into smaller units and then, uh, visually make them, I was going to say, you better not attack me, uh, visually kind of combine them. So it looks like sort of like, oh, no, 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 no. It looks sort of like small houses kind of combined together. Um, that usually gives a good kind of style to it. Makes it look very modular, I think. Uh, which is just a word I pulled out of nowhere. But I do think that kind of looks good. That way you don't have like long flat walls for no reason. Um, I like my builds to be kind of like dense, small things. So it helps stick with the theme. We also really need to go roof on here. Uh, this was gonna be, like, I was gonna put a wall here, well not here, there, and this wasn't gonna be a roof, but I think it'll, uh, kinda add to that, and that way this window will be more functional. I think I might have already said that, now that I'm saying it again, uh, which is awesome. So, but we really need a roof on here, so I can, like, interact with the rest of my house without being afraid. 
Okay. Whew. Yeah. Okay. So let me switch out these walls and uh, we'll see what I come up with. All right. So it's just about turning nighttime here. I figured I'd show you what I've got done uh, before I skip the night. But got the walls replaced with wood. I'm not sure how I feel about this here. I had it right here. Or I had the wood beam. Uh, but it seemed way too flat because that's like 15 blocks of just flat. So I popped it out one and I'm thinking I'll probably, I usually go with uh, bell shaped roofs and uh, not like the bell shape in like the little shrine area in here, um, but like actual kind of sweeping bell shape. And I believe we can do that in this version. Um, I usually like to do an odd number uh, and then for like the, you know, single row at the top, uh, do slabs. And I think I can actually do that, uh, but it'll have to be these slabs, which should look okay. So let me wait till it gets daytime here. I'll keep kind of replacing walls, doing stuff in here uh, while we wait. But uh, yeah, I really want to get those uh, roofs up soon, like so we can do things in our house and expand. So almost immediately after that last clip, uh, I got dive bombed by a creeper. Is that a cow? Okay, well that's not the strangest thing. There's a pig in here. I don't know how it got in here. It was in here when I came in. Both my doors have pressure plates only on the inside, so he must have just spawned on the grass. Uh, but yeah, I got dive bombed, so I didn't do uh, like any building. I really should have gotten my sword out. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! 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 All right. Well then, <laughs> luckily I do know the coordinates back. Uh, this is why we need to build like a spawn tower or something. Uh, definitely before beds come out. Um, we have plenty of time. I'm thinking, I might have already said this, but if I haven't, we'll probably do up to episode 100 uh, in this version. Um, or maybe just up to episode 50. Uh, it really depends. Now that I'm doing like editing <laughs> in my videos, uh, the episodes are going to be, um, or not the episodes, but I think, uh, I might have to toggle like how long each update will be for since we're getting way more content out of a single update than I thought, you know, initially, like my first video, there was no edits in it and the first few of them, there were none. Uh, so obviously we've changed that. We're kind of splicing around. Um, you know, the first few videos each took about 20 minutes to record. These ones now take more like mm, two hours. So, uh, much more content. So I'm going to see if I can get back. Um, yeah. All right. And we found our way back. Uh, didn't take too long. We came from over that way, so hopefully our items are still here. Uh, if not, it's not the biggest deal, but it was quite a bit of wood we had on us, and I don't want to go chop down another forest <laughs> right now anyway. So I did try out while I was kind of waiting inside the uh, bell-shaped roof I was thinking of, and the style will more or less work. Uh, we'll have to toggle a few of the things. Because, like, we can't put stairs upside down or, you know, heaven forbid, uh, a slab on the top side of a block. So, but more or less, it should all work out. Oh, no, my inventory is a mess. All right. <laughs> that actually didn't take long at all. So, yeah, so I was thinking for kind of longer roofs... We'll do just your uh, typical, here, let me get my shovel out. Uh, 
we'll do your kind of typical this, whatever this shape is, 90 degree angle uh, roof, or, you know, we might do it uh, a little wider of an angle if we need, but generally like that. Uh, I don't want to place any stairs because if I break them, they'll just give me cobble back. Oh, I'm not using my shovel. But the idea for, well, okay, I'll place it for the demonstration. Uh, the idea for the bell-shaped roofs is do something like this, and then imagine this is cobblestone. I'm just lazy and I don't want to break it. And then stairs here. And then we'll have to put something here because I don't think we can place slabs uh, just floating. Oh, maybe we can actually. Yeah, okay. So something like that. Uh, and then we'll, you know, maybe... Yeah, probably be more like that. Um, obviously, it'll all be cobble, but we'll do that bell shape, I think, for this and this, uh, but maybe, you know, that more wedge shape for up there. Uh, I'll mess around a little bit and come back when I've got something decent. All right, a little bit of a roof progress update. Uh, so I decided to use the smooth stone slabs as a kind of like edging on the roof. I think that uh, kind of bordering cobblestone roofs will at least make it look a little more defined. So I had to redo the walls a little bit. Uh, I kind of popped things out, resized some windows. Um, and this is how we're looking so far. Uh, it's pretty good. I think... I'm going to have a, um, oh man, I don't really know much uh, roof terminology, but uh, I think the pitch is like how sharp it is, and I'll have like a low pitch roof going towards, uh, like towards the sun instead of perpendicular to that, um, that all these little mini roofs will kind of run into. I think that'll look pretty good. Up there, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I was thinking like with up there and then this bit here, we'll just kind of have uh, slabs kind of making overhangs and that could look good. Um, I don't like that cobble there, so I think I might replace that. Uh, but yeah, just a little bit of an update. Now this is the high energy content you've been waiting for. Look at the speed. Oh, the torch punching method. Can't get much better than this. Oh man. Okay. So if what I did works, uh, this should be really good. <laughs> so firstly, here's what I've done so far. Uh, I'm not nearly finished, but this is as far as I've gotten. Uh, this video is already taken a while to come out, so I kind of want to get it out now. Uh, secondly, so I adjusted my recording settings again, and now it feels like I'm getting a bit more choppiness than before, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, but hopefully it's a lot smoother. Um, I... I've done everything. I have, I've literally, I just overclocked my RAM to try to see if that would fix the kind of micro stuttering that uh, my recordings keep seeming to get. Um, and it did a bit, I think. Uh, I also changed it so that the refresh rate on my monitor is 144 hertz, and I'm recording at 100 FPS right now. Uh, I saw online that that helps, and it seemed to in the uh, test recording I did. I don't know. So the idea is, uh, I think I'm going to have the roof go down at a slant that's maybe uh, a little more shallow than this one. Uh, I had to like kind of switch around um, with like stairs and regular blocks, 
and then I initially had it all slabs, but then I realized I wanted the main color to be cobble. So uh, this looks pretty good. I think this is a nice curve up. And then we're going to have this run all along this way. I just hear an egg laid or a chicken. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have this roof go along this way. And then these three are going to run into the main one. And I think. I'll do a bit of a border with slabs, kind of like that. Uh, so sort of like that. Bit of a color difference. So yeah. Um, so I apologize for this video getting out so kind of late. Uh, hopefully in the future uh, I'll be able to put them out a little faster. It's just this roof has been giving me trouble and uh, I've been kind of like juggling resources. So. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.